concerns rising over the monkeypox outbreak, and if enough is being done to keep it in check. All of this as the CDC expects to see cases increase over the coming weeks. Now, there have been a little more than a dozen cases here in the Bay Area. Aaron Parsegian joins us with why doctors are urging people, especially who are high risk, to be proactive here. Aaron. Yeah, the CDC says the overall threat of monkeypox is low because one, it's a rare disease, and two, it doesn't spread easily without close physical contact. But cases are rising, and right now there are not enough vaccines. There have been more than 1,800 confirmed cases in the U.S., reaching nearly every state, including roughly 180 in Florida. But experts believe those have likely been undercounted. Monkeypox spreads mainly through skin-on-skin -skin contact. Symptoms include fever, body aches, chills, and fatigue. Many who have been infected get painful lesions on their body. Thankfully, no one in the U.S. has died from it so far. Now, cases are expected to keep climbing, as do concerns that the response hasn't been strong enough. We made a lot of the same mistakes that we made with COVID with this, having a very narrow case definition, not having enough testing early enough, not deploying vaccine in aggressive fashion, uh, fashion to ring vaccinate. But now this is firmly embedded in the community. Some commercial labs will begin testing for monkeypox. There are also two vaccines available, albeit in short supply for the time being. So who should get vaccinated? Health officials recommend people who have been exposed to a person with monkeypox, especially through sexual contact, get the vaccine within the first 14 days of exposure. Vaccination is also recommended for people who work in public health labs. Now, right now, the disease is primarily spreading among the LGBTQ plus community, but anyone can contract the virus. If you want to get vaccinated, reach out to your local health care provider.